Hey, this is Tuan Aditya from Lighthaven. Today I'm going to be sharing with you something I'm actually quite excited about. It's a double stick Gunting based drill. I'm going to be showing you a solo training version of this as well as a way to train this on the back. So make sure you're watching this video till the end. Let's just quickly talk about why we use the Gunting in our weapon work. Now if you've been following the channel for a bit, you know that I have a bunch of coordination rules, not necessarily rules but guidelines that I like to use when I'm using double weapons to make the most use of having two weapons. So instead of using one weapon at a time, it's more efficient to use both of them together. So one weapon can be looking to deflect your opponent's oncoming attack while the other weapon can be looking to attack your opponent's hand, head, leg, body, whatever is the target that is there for you to attack. So the Gunting motion is a scissoring motion. So you're scissoring, scissoring. You can be closing, you can be opening, you can be going diagonal. There are a bunch of different ways that you can be doing this motion, but essentially you are looking to uh, either deflect or diffuse the oncoming attack with one of your weapons while attacking your opponent's hand with the other one. The Gunting motion or the scissoring motion can be done in a bunch of different ways. The most traditional version or the, or the first version that we train in, in when, is when the sticks or the swords are crossing in front of you like this. The drill we're going to be doing right now has a beginning like this, but then we're going to switch the Gunting to a slightly different orientation. Again, if you watch some of the other Gunting videos that I've made, you know that I am that the coordination about which hand is on top while you're stepping in which direction is very, very important if you want to pull this off uh, safely and effectively. So if I'm stepping out with my left leg, then my right hand is going to be on top. If I'm stepping out with my right leg, then my left hand is going to be on top. So I'm going to be stepping 45 degrees with my left leg and my right hand, as I do this crossing motion, my right hand is going to be on top. The right hand, this is important, you can do this with a partner or you can do this as a visualization exercise where the right hand is going to my opponent's weapon, sword or stick. My left hand is cutting my opponent's hand. So that's the first step, which is a closing motion. The second step, now earlier we would have just opened the same way we've closed, the same way we're gonna, that we would have opened. But now my right hand is going to be like an umbrella over here while my left hand is going to slash in this angle two diagonal from um, one o'clock down to seven o'clock. So one more time, that's your first gunting, that's your second gunting, this has been an umbrella, this is attacking the hand and from here whichever stick is on top, now this stick is going to come down with an angle one. So let's take this as part one of the drill. So we've gone one, Umbrella to the cut, coming back with an angle one. Now, as I'm coming down with an angle one with my right hand, my left hand is going to go behind my head so that I end up in this sort of crossed loading position. One more time. One, umbrella and cut, cut down, from, and, I'm, and I'm in this crossed loading position. Now, from here, it's up to you. Do you want to open across the neck? Do you want to hit high and low? Do you want to open Diagonally, that's up to you, but we're going to end up again in this open position where we can begin the whole drill from the beginning. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, cut, take the stick behind and open. There's one more way that you can do the last part, which is that you go one, two, this goes behind. You can also do it at different times. So you can hit low first and then hit high, or you can hit high first and then hit low. The choice is, is, is really yours. You can do it equal timing, high first and then low, so high and low, or low and high. Either way, you end up back in this open position again, where you can begin the drill again. All right, now let's see how we can work this drill on the bag. Now, the major thing that the bag is giving us is a reference point uh, a fixed physical reference point for where to hit. And in this drill, you can make that into a variety of things. So just off the bat, of course, we know that this is our target. We're stepping 45 degrees in relation to our target. That's the first thing. 
But now is when the what I find the, the cool parts of, of working this way comes in. If this is my opponent's hand, then when I'm stepping out from my first gunting, my bottom stick is going to be hitting my opponent's hand, whereas my top stick is hitting my opponent's weapon, which means that I'm going to be ending up doing something like this, where only one weapon is hitting the bag. Same for part two, if this is the umbrella, and this is the hand or the head, then my bottom stick hits the bag, my top stick does not hit the bag. From here, I hit the bag, take that behind, and both weapons hit the bag. I step out the other way, my bottom, my bottom hand hits the bag, my top hand doesn't. My bottom hand hits the bag, my top hand doesn't. My top hand hits the bag, both sticks hit the bag. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five also you can do. One, two, three, four, five. Or the other way, where the bottom stick moves first. And then you can flow with it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The first thing to watch out for is, again, I say this all the time, know where the edge of your weapons are facing. So where these knuckles are, not my punching knuckles, but these knuckles, that's where the edge of my weapon is. So I want my edge aligned in the right way. Or am I using when I'm doing, when I'm attacking the stick or when I'm doing the umbrella, is my edge, am I going edge to edge? Am I going side of the weapon to the edge? Am I going side of the weapon as it as it's com comes down? There are many, many possibilities. If you're not sure which one you should do, do edge to edge. Um, if you want, it's, it's, it's an easier way to train this. And as you become more knowledgeable about uh, what edge to edge means, when to go side to the edge, when you use the back of the blade, then you can start playing around with where the edge faces. But if you are not confident, then make sure your edge is facing in the right direction towards your opponent. So my edge, where is my edge facing? If I'm cutting, my edge needs to be facing the right way. If I'm cutting, whatever it is that I'm doing, my edge needs to be facing in the right direction. The next thing is coordinating your feet with your hands, especially when you're training this solo. If I'm stepping with my left, my right hand is going to be on top for the first gunting. If I'm stepping to the right, my left hand is going to be on top for the first gunting. When I'm striking the bag, make sure that whichever, whichever weapon is hitting the bag, that you're cutting through the bag and it's not getting stuck here and then you have to pull it back. Make sure that you're cutting through, that you're cutting through. That the hand and the weapon continues its motion, otherwise you're not going to be able to set up whatever attacks or guntings or umbrellas that are supposed to come after. Don't let the weapon get stuck on the back. Continue the motion, continue the motion, continue the motion, continue the motion. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, if you learned from what you saw, please do like and share this video. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you have anything to add, leave that in the comments down below. All of these things really do help out the school and the channel a lot. A huge thank you to all of our patrons. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to know more about our Patreon page and the exclusive content that we offer there, check out the link in the description I'm going to leave down below. Lastly, our online classes are up and running. Our residential program is up and running. So to train with us from wherever you are in the world or here in Goa, check out the email address I'm going to leave in the description 